What's happening, everybody? Trey here, joined by my dad, Sean. And today, reactions to the classics. We're going to have a punky reggae party song battle. Let's go, man. We're going to be checking out the uh, original version by the great Bob Marley. And uh, then we're going to listen to the Catch a Fire uh, version as well. Thanks to our longtime friend and patron of the channel, Heath, for requesting this battle for us to uh, listen to today. Yeah, HP said, when Bob Marley came to Aotearoa, New Zealand in 1979. He changed the musical landscape of Aotearoa. We, we worked on this permanently. <laughs> and for the better, our reggae can stand proud anywhere, anytime. Bob Marley is known here in Aotearoa. I, I'm doing my best. He <laughs> As Uncle Bob, we have grown up with his voice and influence in our homes, schools, and workplaces. He knows a ton about music. One of my favorite guys in the world. Never met him because he's halfway <laughs> around the world. We'll start out with the Marley version. Uh, not appearing on any studio album. It was released in 1977 as a 12-inch single in Jamaica only and as a B-side to the mm. Jammin' single on the Island Jammin'. label in some countries and was later released as a live single on Babylon by Boss. song was written by Bob as a positive response to the release of a cover version of Junior uh, Mervyn's Police and Thieves by English punk band The Clash, which I'm fresh off of doing a uh, career retrospective it's on The highly Clash. Highly impressive. Right there. Uh, referring to the party of the title of the song, the lyrics mention several punk and reggae groups. Uh, the Wailers will be there, The Dam, The Jam, The Clash, Maytals will be there, Dr. Feelgood too. Uh, Marley also often repeated the words New Wave during the song. All right. All right. Anytime you get a Bob Marley, that rhythm section. I'm telling you, dude, it makes fire. you smile, man. <laughs>
bass line in this entire song has just been oh. so, so punchy, so uh, full of life. Yeah, man, it's fantastic. Right, the punky reggae party uh, coming in here from Bob Marley, uh, produced by the great uh, Scratch Lee Perry, um, uh, a legend who I, I believe recently uh, passed away. But uh, um, man, uh, speaking of that production, Dad, the uh, the bass work, the, the rhythm bass. section, just in general, is uh, um, just just incredible. Yeah, I mean, I don't listen to reggae music in my mm, free time, yeah. <laughs> but every time I hear it, I mean, it's just, it puts a smile on your face, man. Oh, yeah. It's just great stuff, man. The, the way he holds the new wave, I mean, that's this classic Marley. Oh, yeah. You hear it, the second you hear it, you're like, you know it's it's Marley. And, you know, it's just, you You heard the the shout outs to everybody, you know, the jam, <laughs> the the clash. I mean, mm-hmm. the jam, one of my personal favorites yeah. out there. Um, And just, yeah, it's just, we're, ha- we're having a punky and- a uh, reggae party and the, the fusion of uh you know uh two genres that uh, don't really sound too much alike right they don't but i mean they have similarities kind of in you know what they're what they're doing and their so values and yeah, their yeah, ethos exactly. so to speak yeah they just go about it two different ways so yeah good point there and uh yeah man i, I enjoy getting some marley we have a couple of song reactions from marley, we do we but, just don't have enough marley up. and uh you know I, I think he is the most synonymous with his genre compared to anyone else in music like you know you I think, think that's a fantastic you yeah. think rock your or rap or folk or you know yeah, you're gonna get a pop music you know Whitney you're right but, but reggae, reggae getting... worldwide everybody knows Bob Marley you know that's a great point yeah <laughs> but uh with that said we are now going to go to a, uh, a cover version right here by a uh, New Zealand group called uh, Catch a Fire. Um, this is uh, their version. It came out in uh, 2016, about three minutes uh, long. And uh, they originally uh, started out in 1997 as a Bob Marley tribute band, again, showing how um, much of an impact uh, Bob had uh, uh, worldwide right there. Yeah, exactly. And that's their name derives from Catch a Fire, the mm-hmm. Wayward's debut album. But, you know, we got Catch a Fire. So. <laughs> We are going to check this one out. I hope you are 
Norte. Got a great voice. Great voice. voice. Norte, Cause it's a punky reggae party. You ain't. You brave. You ain't. You brave. It takes a joyful sound. To make you well go round Come with your heart and soul Come and come and rock your bone Cause it's a punky reggae party And it's tonight Yeah, it's a punky reggae party Catch a fire tray before you even get to start. I'll jump in and say, I mean, you mentioned his voice is fantastic. I mean, that was highly, Ooh. highly impressive, man. That was a flawless performance. Oh, yeah, man. And it was really cool being a uh, fly on the wall, so to speak, always in the in the studio, seeing him be able yeah. to uh, to pull that off. But yeah, man, lead singer sounded absolutely incredible. Um, uh, you know, literally a uh, like a perfect note, <laughs> note yeah. for note oh, really? uh, cover of so uh, crisp uh, of this song, man. And uh, you know, I would have been the dude in the back that just had the two sticks. You know, so I would have been the other guy with the twig because I, I probably couldn't even keep the beat with the two sticks, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I mean, just a, a a really impressive performance, and you know, you can tell that uh, you know sometimes, right, Dad, you see like a a, a tribute band, and um, you know, you can tell they're a tribute band, but these guys, yeah, uh, no, that's exactly right. <laughs> Have a, a lot of a, a lot of talent. Uh, They're like a C minus like version of whatever the original. Yeah. This is not the case. Yeah, you're exactly right. No, a hundred percent here, man. So uh, thanks to HP for for bringing this battle. Uh, that gives us um, to our winner here. And I mean, um, you know, I, I gotta go. I gotta go with Bob Marley. You know, I gotta of go course. with the original. But uh, um, both of these are uh, absolute uh, certified bangers. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> you gotta go with the original, but that doesn't mean that Catch a Fires was Ooh. absolutely flawless. It's really song. impressive. Was fantastic. It would win about against about <laughs> anything else. Or was it go? It was just going against a different song and not the original. But uh, yeah, thank you, Heath, for bringing that one. And let us know uh, your uh, your winner down below and uh, hey, your favorite uh, Catch a Fire and, uh, and Bob Marley uh, songs yeah. uh, as well. Uh, we'd love to to hear your thoughts on that. There, if you'd like to have us do a battle for you or support the channel in any way, uh, shout out to all our patrons like uh, Heath who um, who help keep the channel going. Yeah. You can check out our Patreon link down below or at the end screen and hit that big thumbs up. That also helps us out as well. But until next time, y'all, thanks for watching. Happy listening, and we will see you.